Back in third is Color Me In, then Golden Nomad. They're well clear from Monty's mission. Last return and the Gabby Cabby. It's a set two up the hill inside the last 150. Capilano Bridge was trying desperately hard on the rail. Right place, right time. They're stride for stride as they go towards the judge. It is a bob of the heads. Right place, right time. Might just have been from Capilano Bridge. Color Me In. And fourth over the line was Golden Nomad. Back in third is Color Me In, then Golden Nomad. They're well clear from Monty's mission. Last return and the Gabby Cabby. It's a set two up the hill inside the last 150. Capilano Bridge was trying desperately hard on the rail. Right place, right time. They're stride for stride as they go towards the judge. It is a bob of the heads. Right place, right time. Might just have been from Capilano Bridge. Color Me In. And fourth over the line was Golden Nomad. And Yukon Lil, a winner of two bumpers, has come there very strongly to head. City Ballerina, who's weakening, Miss Aloud, is running on into second place, but racing towards the final furlong. And the Clinton Higgins Chartered Accountant's Mayor's Maiden, Yukon Lil, is coming clear up the hill towards the finish and is winning here in a low gear. Miss Aloud will be second, Rhythm Divine in third, and the fourth, City Ballerina, who led for a good chunk of the race. And Yukon Lil, a winner of two bumpers, has come there very strongly to head. City Ballerina, who's weakening, Miss Aloud is running on into second place, but racing towards the final furlong. And the Clinton Higgins Chartered Accountant's Mayor's Maiden, Yukon Lil, is coming clear up the hill towards the finish and is winning here in a low gear. Miss Aloud will be second, Rhythm Divine in third, and the fourth. City Ballerina, who led for a good chunk of the race. And it is Tiger Tap Tap, the leader, a length and a half in front, and looks the one to beat. In second is home by the Lee, and then Ashdale Bob. They're clear from Jazz Away inside the final furlong, and it's Tiger Tap Tap. In the lead, running up the hill towards the finish, it is Tiger Tap Tap. It's quickly going to be a second helping for Paul Town, and then William Allen's Tiger Tap Tap gets off the mark, beats home by the Lee and Ashdale Bob. Well clear from Jazz Away, Vosilay presenting Cody, where the winds blow, both assassin Johnny Little Legs and it is Tiger Tap Tap the leader a length and a half in front and looks the one to beat in second is home by the Lee and then Ashdale Bob they're clear from Jazz Away inside the final furlong and it's Tiger Tap Tap in the lead running up the hill towards the finish it is Tiger Tap Tap it's quickly going to be a second helping for Paul Town and then William Allen's Tiger Tap Tap gets off the mark beats home by the Lee and Ashdale Bob well clear from Jazz Away Vosa presenting Cody where the winds blow bold assassin Johnny Little Legs. Has gone for home. Crack on Corey. Eagle Rock is on the outside. Then all of Dagonet capture the action. Dressed in black. Pivotal Pursuit drops back. Then Golden Symphony. Fair minded Dane Gale. Kill Murray on Mark Hook. Vina Bell. Classy K. Furling and a half to go. And it is all about Alfie from all of Dagonet and Eagle Rock on the near side. These three almost in line. Racing towards the final furlong. All about Alfie in between horses is plucky. On the outside is Eagle Rock. Then all of Dagenay and captured the action but all about Alfie is going to win this race for the second time all about Alfie beats Eagle Rock of Dagenay in third and fourth has captured the action then Golden Symphony Has gone for home. Crack on Corey. Eagle Rock is on the outside. Then all of Dagonet capture the action. Dressed in black. Pivotal Pursuit drops back. Then Golden Symphony. Fair minded Dane Gale. Kill Murray on Mark Hook. Vina Bell. Classy K. Furling and a half to go. And it is all about Alfie from all of Dagonet and Eagle Rock on the near side. These three almost in line. Racing towards the final furlong. All about Alfie in between horses is plucky. On the outside is Eagle Rock. Then all of Dagonet and captured the action. But All About Alfie is going to win this race for the second time. All About Alfie beats Eagle Rock of Dagonet in third. And fourth has captured the action than Golden Symphony.
uphill now for the finish, and it's Papam and Paul Townend out in front of Spyglass Hill and then Caravation. They're clear from the fourth running. Monkshood inside the final 200 yards, and it's Papam who shared the top table with some of the best over hurdles. We'll get off the mark second time over fences, and it is three on the afternoon for Paul Town and Willie Mullins, but Pom the winner from Spyglass Hill, Carnivation in third. Uphill now for the finish, and it's Papam and Paul Townend out in front of Spyglass Hill and then Carnivation. They're clear from the fourth running. Monkshood inside the final 200 yards, and it's Papam who shared the top table with some of the best over hurdles. We'll get off the mark second time over fences, and it is three on the afternoon for Paul Town and Willie Mullins, but Pom the winner from Spyglass Hill, Carnivation in third. Racing up the hill inside the final furlong, Conroy Boy with the long mile over on the far side, and these two now have it between them. It's Conroy Boy, who's proving to be a hardy individual. On the outside is the long mile as they run up towards the finish. Conroy Boy, the long mile has done him, and the long mile has done Conroy Boy clear from Ferrymount Boy, Muyam Spirit Lackenbridge. Racing up the hill inside the final furlong, Conroy Boy with the long mile over on the far side, and these two now have it between them. It's Conroy Boy, who's proving to be a hardy individual. On the outside is the long mile as they run up towards the finish. Conroy Boy, the long mile has done him, and the long mile has done Conroy Boy clear from Ferrymount Boy, Muyam Spirit Lackenbridge. These three are followed by Fairy Hill Run and Miss Pernickety racing to the final furlong. Lady Temperance hits the front, goes on from on the outside. Fairy Hill Run who's staying on, then Coos and Clover and Bet Horn up towards the finish. It's Lady Temperance and Patrick Mullins is going to beat Fairy Hill Run. Judge for the third, Bet Horn on the near side, number four, ahead of Coos and Clover and then Miss Pernickety. These three are followed by Fairy Hill Run and Miss Pernickety racing to the final furlong. Lady Temperance hits the front, goes on from on the outside. Fairy Hill Run, who's staying on, then Coos and Clover and Bet Horn up towards the finish. It's Lady Temperance and Patrick Mullins is going to beat Fairy Hill Run, judge for the third Bet Horn on the near side, number four, ahead of Coos and Clover and then Miss Pernickety.